we're going to talk about multiplying and dividing using scientific notation. Before we do that, we're going to take a quick step backwards into working with exponential notation. And if you remember, um, when you have values with similar bases, you just add the exponents together to get your answer. And also, if you are dividing similar bases, you subtract the exponents to get your answer. This relates when multiplying and dividing in scientific notation. Let's take a look at our first example. We have 2.4 times 10 to the 6th times 5 times 10 to the negative 4th. So if we're going to go ahead and work out this solution, um, first thing I'm going to do is take that 2.4 times 5, multiply those values together, then I'm going to take that 10 to the 6th and 10 to the 4th and multiply those values together. So then my first step of 2.4 times 5 yields me 12. And then in order to get my next step, well, I have similar bases being multiplied together. So I take the exponents, add them together, 6 plus a negative 4, which is essentially 6 minus 4. And that leaves me 10 to the second. Now you might think, all right, your answer is 12 times 10 to the second, but you'd be wrong because remember, again, your coefficient has to be, when writing in scientific notation, your coefficient has to be between 1 and 10. So in this case, I'm going to increase this value over here by a power of 10 to get it to 10 to the third, which means I need to decrease this value by moving the decimal one spot over to the left. So I get my final answer of 1.2 times 10 to the third. The same rule would then follow in this example. By the way, if you want to go ahead and try out this example on your own, feel free. I have 2.34 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 1.3 times 10 to the negative second. So maybe first thing I want to realize is I have a pretty small number being divided by a very large number. So just logically thinking through my answer, I have a small number divided by a large number. My answer should be even smaller than 10 to the negative 5, just as a check. So first thing I do is go ahead and set up my problem. And I see that I have 2.34 times 10 to the negative 5th divided by 1.3 times 10 to the negative 2nd. Now I'm going to break these down separately. And I have 2.34 divided by 1.3 times 10 to the negative fifth divided by 10 to the seventh. So 2.34 divided by 1.3 yields me 1.8. And 10 to the negative fifth divided by 7, that means I'm using subtraction. So I have 10 to the negative, fifth, negative 5 minus 7. That's going to get me 10 to the negative 12th. And in this case, my coefficient is already in between 1 and 10. So there's nothing I really need to do further to my answer. And those are the rules for multiplying and dividing using scientific notation. What I'm going to leave you with now is a challenge problem. And I want you to go ahead and evaluate this without a calculator. Actually, why don't we just go ahead and say simplify. No, 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 no. Let's evaluate. All right. And there's your challenge problem.